Hi, I'm Brad Dexter. I'm an exercise physiologist with OHSU's Cardiac Rehabilitation Program. Today, I'm gonna to lead you through some light resistance training. Let's start with some lateral and front raises. We're gonna bring our weights up directly overhead, nice and slow, nice and controlled, and then we're going to bring them out to the side. We wanna repeat each one of these motions about 10 times. We want to focus on being relaxed and making sure that we're breathing adequately. On our next time through this motion, we're going to simply hold our weights out to the front as we lower them. We want to make sure that we're, our sh shoulders are nice and stable and that we're keeping them down and away from our ears. We want to take them from the front and now move them out to the sides, again, keeping them up high, nice and stable. Now we're going to do some upright rows. Put your weights together down by your belt buckle and then pull them up to your chin, keeping your elbows out. Make sure that we're breathing adequately while we do this and that we're keeping a nice relaxed posture. We want to do this motion about 10 times. Next, we're going to do some easy bicep curls. So we want to bring our weights from a resting position down by our sides up to our shoulders. We want to make sure that we're nice and slow and controlled through this motion. Even if these weights aren't very heavy, we can still get a lot of work by being uh, well controlled. Next, we're going to do some overhead presses. We're going to take our weights up to our shoulders and then we're going to press them straight up overhead. We want to be nice and smooth in this motion. However, if this hurts your chest or your shoulders at all, you may not be ready for this activity yet. We want to do about 10 repetitions of this activity. Now we're going to do some tricep extensions. We're going to take our weights up overhead, we're going to flex our elbows, and then we're going to extend up directly overhead. As we do this, we want to try to get all of our, our motion through our elbow, not so much in our shoulder. We want to make sure we're breathing and that we're nice and slow and nice and controlled. Let's do some flies. We want to take our weights up over our head, but keep our elbows at a 90 degree bend. We're going to start in the front, moving out, and then bringing them back in. Again, making sure that we're nice and slow, nice and controlled with this motion. Now we're going to do some chest press. We're going to take our weights up to our shoulders and we're going to press out and up. Again, making sure we're nice and slow, nice and controlled, even if our weights aren't particularly heavy. Up next, we're gonna do some partial squats involving a chair. So we're gonna stand in front of our chair with our feet a little wider than our shoulders. We're gonna go ahead and bend our knees and our hips down and just try to find the front edge of that chair with our rear end. 
So we're going to bend down, and as soon as we touch, we want to come back up. In the event that we feel like you can't come back up, you can go ahead and just have a seat in your chair. So if you come down, you can just go ahead, sit back, and relax. But what we want to do is make sure that we're in control of this exercise, that we're finding the front edge of the chair, and that we're coming right back up. We want to keep our eyes up and our shoulders nice and broad while we do this. We don't want to be looking at our feet. We want to be looking towards the horizon. A goal would be to do between eight and 10 repetitions of this activity. We're gonna start with some lateral front raises using an exercise band. We're gonna start by pinning one end of our band to the ground with two feet. This will ensure that it remains stable as we pull against it. We wanna make sure that we have a very good grip on the other end of our band as we start this activity. We're simply gonna raise our arm up in the front, lowering it back down slowly in a controlled manner, and then bring it over to the side. Again, back down in a slow manner. We wanna do about 10 repetitions in each direction. It's also important to note that when you're working with an exercise band, that you don't let the band do all the work for you. Make sure that when you move your arm up, it takes about the same speed to move it back down. The next time through this activity, we're gonna go ahead and lower our band, but we're gonna hold it up directly in front of us. We wanna go ahead and challenge our shoulder, keeping it away from our ears, out straight, nice and stable. I'm gonna hold this position for about 10 seconds. From there, we're gonna to switch to the front, to the side. We wanna hold our band out in this position, again, for 10 seconds. Now we're gonna do some bicep curls. From the same position as we were doing our lateral front raises, we wanna go ahead and wrap our band around our hand. This is gonna shorten the distance between our hand and our foot, and it will cause us to have more resistance in our exercise band. We wanna go ahead and take our hand from a relaxed position down by our side, up toward our shoulder, making sure that all of the motion is happening in our elbow. If you need to adjust the resistance, you can always shorten or lengthen the distance between your hand and your foot. Next, we're gonna do some overhead presses. So from the same position we were in, we wanna unravel our band so that we have plenty of slack. This will give us a little bit less resistance for this activity. We wanna make sure we have a firm grip, then we're gonna bring our hand up to our shoulder and we're simply going to Punch up overhead. Want to make sure we do this activity about 10 times. Now we're going to transition into some upright rows. We're gonna start by gripping both ends of our exercise band. We're simply gonna step right in the middle and pin it to the floor with one foot while we take a small step backward with the other. We're gonna then pull our, our wrists up towards our chin, keeping our elbows up. We wanna do about 10 repetitions of this activity as well. Now we're gonna switch sides and do some of the upper body activities we've just done with one arm with the other. So since I started with my right arm, now I'm gonna to switch to my left arm. I want the same, same idea where I have my band underneath me pinned to the ground with two feet with my left hand ready to do some lifting. We're gonna go ahead and move my arm up, back down, and then over to the side. Just repeating that pattern of activities we just did with our other arm.
On this next one, when we come down, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hold our band out to the front. We wanna keep it here for about 10 seconds. We're gonna take it from the front over to the side and hold it out here as well. We wanna make sure that when we're doing this, our shoulder's nice and stable and we're keeping our shoulder down away from our ears. The next thing that we're gonna do is bring our band down by our sides. We're gonna wrap our hand up so that we get a little bit more resistance for our easy bicep curl. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is unravel our band to get a little bit less resistance as we do some overhead presses. We're gonna bring our hand up to our shoulder and punch up straight overhead. Up next, we're gonna do some reverse flies. So we're gonna start with our band out front with a firm grip on it, we're gonna pull down and back, squeezing our shoulder blades together behind us. Want to make sure that we're nice and slow, nice and controlled through this motion, and that we're really focusing on the right group of muscles to use. You'll definitely know if you're doing this one right. All right, now we're gonna do some tricep extensions. All right, you're gonna take your band, wrap it around your off hand, and that's simply to ensure you have a good anchor point. We're going to take that and put it on our opposite shoulder so that we have something to pull against. From this point, we're going to extend out, trying to keep all the motion in our elbow. We wanna make sure that we're nice and slow, nice and controlled while we do this, and that each motion going out and coming back takes about the same length of time. Now we're just gonna switch sides. So we're gonna do the same thing by wrapping up our band, creating a nice stable anchor point, putting that on our opposite shoulder and extending out. Again, remember, try to keep all that movement just in your elbow. Next, we're gonna do some basic chest press. So we're gonna take our band, we're gonna put it around our back, up underneath our arms. We're gonna go ahead and grab the little tassels that are left over. Oh, I don't wanna say tassels. Hold on. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna take our band, we're gonna put it around our back, up underneath our arms, and we're gonna go ahead and grab on to the ends that are left over. From there, we're just gonna push out straight out with two hands. We really want to reach out absolutely as far as we can while we do this. Again, making sure that we're breathing while we do is a very important thing. If this bothers your chest or your shoulders, you may not be ready for this activity yet. Up next, we're gonna do some partial squats involving a chair. So we're gonna stand in front of our chair with our feet a little wider than our shoulders. We're gonna go ahead and bend our knees and our hips down and just try to find the front edge of that chair with our rear end. So we're gonna bend down and as soon as we touch, we wanna to come back up. In the event that we feel like you can't come back up, you can go ahead and just have a seat in your chair. So if you come down, you can just go ahead and sit back and relax. But what we wanna do is make sure that we're in control of this exercise that we're finding the front edge of the chair and that we're coming right back up. We want to keep our eyes up and our shoulders nice and broad while we do this. We don't want to be looking at our feet. We want to be looking towards the horizon. A goal would be to do between eight and 10 repetitions of this activity.
Hopefully you've enjoyed our basic resistance training tutorial. Ideally, these activities can be done two to three times a week, and each exercise should be done about 10 to 12 repetitions. Thank you and happy exercising.